<laughs> okay, good evening. Welcome to. So, math number 524. Math 524. We're not sure what button we pressed. Um, showing up in the viewfinder, everything's red. Um, sorry about that. Um, so, you've been, uh, you've been working on, um, on sums this week. Mm -hmm. And um, I want to show you sort of an in introductory uh, calculus project and why, why sums uh, are useful and probably why you're studying them in this book. Um, so, what is the sum from i equals 1 to n of 1? What does that equal? So that's um, just um, 1. It's just 1, 1, 1, 1, 1. So it's n. Okay, so it's n. So it's, it's summing up n1s. And so how about I, sum i equals 1 to n of i? What would this sum be? That's n times n plus one over two. N times n plus one over two. And what what is this? What does this sum represent? If we're going to write it out, the the integers, positive integers, up up to n. Okay, it's it's the sum. So yeah. it's one plus two plus the da, 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 plus up to n, and that equals n times n plus one over two. And uh, what if I change this to i squared? So it equals i equals one to n of i squared. What would that be? So then it's n times n plus 1 times 2n plus 1 all over 6. n times n plus 1 times 2n plus 1 over 6. And right now these are just formulas yeah. that you learned about. But I'm going to show you how um, formulas like these <coughs> help you solve really interesting problems um, in calculus. So for example, a problem you already know how to solve would be the area under the curve y equals x from say x equals 0 to x equals 2 and if we're trying to find this area under the curve you know and above the x-axis what would this area be? Um, it would be 2. Okay, how did you figure that out? Because this is triangle, you go 2 over, 2 up, so base 2, height 2, so 2 times 2 over 2 is 2. Okay, very nice. So I'm going to show you now how we might approach this problem in calculus. Right. Okay.